All right. Thank you very much. We are here to finally, um, we're getting close, the final press conference for Sean per uh, Porter versus Cal Brook. We also have Sakio Pika versus Anthony Durrell, part two, and Omar Figueroa Jr. versus Daniel Estrada, Saturday, August 16th, um, here at the StubHub Center. And let me tell you why, why it's so exciting to be back here at the StubHub Center. This place is known for for the terrific fights that Golden Boy Promotions has been putting on. I kind of call it the, the Thunderdome. Remember the Thunderdome with Mel Gibson and Tina Turner and you know, you go in there, you fight, you know. Uh, every single fight that we have staged at the StubHub Center here in Carson has been incredible. Has been a candidate for fight of the year we saw Robert the Ghost Guerrero with, with Kamagai and, and Lucas Matisse uh, go up against uh, Molina in a fight of the year. This arena, and I want to thank Dan Beckerman uh, and AEG for allowing us um, um, to, to stage these wonderful events uh, at this wonderful venue here at the uh, StubHub in Carson. We are really excited and thrilled to once again be on Showtime. I want to take the opportunity to thank everyone at Showtime and thank everyone uh, at Golden Boy Promotions for making this happen, for making it possible. At this moment, uh, let me introduce to you the Executive Vice President and General Manager of Showtime to say a few words. That's Steven Espinoza. Steven. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, we are thrilled to be back here with Golden Boy Promotions at the Stub Hub Center on what I predict will might be one of the most exciting cards of the year. Um, as Oscar said, Stub Hub has really developed into a very special place. Personally, might be my favorite venue, certainly one of the top two or three. Um, the combination of the fans, the outdoor setting, and of course, the fights that, the, that, that Golden Boy has given us here, and the kind of action that the fighters have delivered, it's unmatched with any other venue in the entire country. Uh, we have an all-action triple header, triple header, in fact, of three world title fights, 50-50 uh, fights. These are evenly matched, couldn't be uh, more of a 50-50 fight. In fact, our co-feature, obviously, is a rematch of a fight that ended in a draw. You don't get more. I whooped more. him. <laughs> well, we, we you certainly... Know I won. We, we I won. certainly got some disagreement you there. Know um, can you fight? You know it. You will know it? Can you, can you fight? You want it? You can see on Saturday. So obviously, the, the, energy is ar the energy is already here in the, in the air. Um, Showtime has, uh, with the help of Golden Boy Promotions, been delivering these stacked cards like no other network in the sport. This is a triple header. There's no other network that's regularly doing triple headers. Um, in fact, this is uh, at least our second triple header of three world title fights this year. There's no other network that's doing triple headers regularly, and certainly none that are doing triple headers of world title fights. So I certainly applaud all of these fighters for stepping up to this challenge. I'm thrilled to be here. Everyone at Showtime I would like to thank the fighters, thank Oscar for making these fights. And it's going to be a thrilling evening, I guarantee it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Stephen. Uh, we do have three world title fights. This, uh, this show will be uh, televised, like uh, Stephen said, on Showtime Championship Boxing. And it begins at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Uh, uh, Pacific time. And uh, again, we are we are really really excited and thrilled, you know, uh, for for staging these uh, incredible incredible fights. Um, I want to take this opportunity to uh, talk about uh, all the fighters uh, on the undercard. We have a uh, we have young fighters who are up and coming. We have uh, fighters who uh, who are 
are right there um, 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 waiting in front of that door, just waiting for it to open and, and challenge for the world title. Like my man uh, uh, Deon, uh, Deontay Wilder, um, um, who, who's going up against uh, uh, a, a fighter who uh, is obviously here to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to crash all those, uh, you know, and derail the, uh, the, the, the champ here, uh, Deontay. Um, so all these, all these young fighters, all these uh, 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 talents that are up here and, and, and that we're going to talk about, I'm going to mention. Um, um, these are fighters that are young, who are hungry, who are, 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 know the opportunity they have in front of them, and I'm sure they're going to take advantage of it. So let me introduce to you uh, uh, Fabian Maidana, who is here. He is uh, Maidana's uh, brother. Um, let me also introduce to you a uh, British Olympic gold medalist, uh, who you all know, uh, uh, Luke Campbell. He's 6-0 and with four knockouts. Uh, he's he's uh, out of Hull, England. He's also going to be uh, fighting on the card. So we're, it's it's an exciting card. It really is with young young fighters who are are the future world champions uh, in, in the sport of boxing. So uh, he's also on the card. Uh, Callum Smith, who's also uh, 12 and 0 with nine knockouts, uh, out of Liverpool, England. Uh, also, uh, we're excited to once again have um, 2012 U.S. Olympian Dominique. Trouble Breezley, who's 11 and 0 and 10 knockouts, and he fights out of Glendale, California. We also have Alan Sanchez, uh, who's here from Fairfield, California, facing Jose Luis Ramirez uh, out of Tijuana, uh, uh, Mexico, uh, with a record of 7 and 0. Uh, like I mentioned to you, um, uh, we have a, a standout uh, amateur who we're just really, really proud of be uh, having on the card here uh, once again. Uh, he'll be fighting his second professional uh, uh, fight and he hails out of uh, uh, Donegal, Ireland and he's 1-0 with one knockout. Let me introduce you, just stand up so that everybody can see you as Jason yeah. Quigley. Jason Quigley, uh, he'll be fighting here on the card also. Um, so we have a tremendous, tremendous lineup. Um, before I introduce the uh, TV portion of the event, let me uh, introduce to you uh, a, a, a terrific, terrific fight that we uh, were able to uh, put together that is really, really exciting to talk about because, like I mentioned before, we have fighters who are knocking on that door waiting for that world title, uh, but obviously... Uh, uh, fighters are, are, are have another agenda, and they and they have uh, you know they're 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 just ready and and, and waiting uh, for that first bell to ring, so they can derail those plans. So let me introduce to you this fight that I'm really really excited about. Um, first off, let me introduce to you a fighter out of out of Orlando, Florida. He's uh, he's uh, has a record of 25, 16, and 11 knockouts. Let me introduce to you Jason Gavrin. Jason, Jason, he'll be uh, he'll be fighting uh, uh, in, in the heavyweight division, and he'll come up and say a few words if you can, please. And talk about your fight. I want to thank you guys for having me. I want to thank uh, Oscar De La Hoya. You know it's an honor to be here. This is this is kind of cool. Uh, you know, I started off uh, as an amateur police officer. Now to be here, you know, pretty much among the the top boxing people in the whole game, it's it's a real honor. It's been a pleasure. Uh, I'm here to fight Deontay Wilder. It's uh, he's 31 and 0 with 31 knockouts for a reason. You know, he uh, everybody he knocking out everybody who they put in front of him. So, you know, I'm I got a big chore ahead of me, but I'm here to put on a good show like I always do in all my fights, and uh, it's gonna be a good time. So thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Jason. The next gentleman I'll be uh, introducing, his record says it all. He's 31-0 and 0 with 31 knockouts. Mm -hmm. And like I said, he's right there knocking on the door. He's the mandatory for the world title. But obviously Jason has other plans. So this is why this fight is so important. It's, it's, it's high risk. Um, this is why we love the heavyweight division. Because of this next gentleman I'll introduce to you. 
out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Deontay Bronze Bomber Wilder. First off, I'd like to thank Showtime. I'd like to thank Golden Boy as well for uh, adding me on to the car. You know, like Oscar, Oscar said, I'm right there at the door, you know. All I got to do is ring the doorbell and knock on it. And um, I'm here um, getting ready for a title fight. But uh, now we got this this risky fight, you know. A lot of people felt, ah, oh, you should fight this, you should fight. You know, everybody have their opinion about who you should fight. But, you know, this, this is a risk factor no matter what the record is. And, no matter who the person is, it, it, it's a risk factor all the way around. You got to understand that this is the heavyweight division, and um, when you have 10 ounce gloves on, it make it even more dangerous to get hit. And I tell people all the time, the head is not meant to be hit. It wasn't built. It wasn't created to be hit. So if you get hit right, anybody can go. I'm human. I can go. You know, and being the fact that I got, <laughs> I can sit back now, and, and I could have waited and could have sat back and waited on my my title shot. But I love what I do. You know, I love boxing. I love to be in the, 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 the surround of other fighters, other champions, former champions, you know, current champions. I love the atmosphere of the fans, you know, involved in, with everything that's going on as far as boxing. So I was very eager. I was very hungry to get back in the ring. This has been my longest layoff um, I've ever had in my career, and I wanted to get back in there, you know. It, it goes so, and I know all boss can relate to it. You, you can do so much training in the gym until you get that 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 hunger, like I'm ready to whip some ass, you know. And I had that ass whipping feeling that I wanted, to, you know, get back in the ring. And uh, and I thank Jason um, for sept accepting the uh, the opportunity. He's, this guy right here, I'm telling you, you know, many people always look at records of a fighter. They even look at my record and stuff. But at the end of the day, come that time when it's time to fight records, that that doesn't mean nothing. It's all gonna boil down who's the most hungriest guy in there, who wants it, who's 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 bark bigger, and um, and that's what we'll find out. You know, one thing I do know about Jason that he comes to fight each and every time. He comes to win each and every time. You know, um, and, and you have to respect a guy. You have to take a you have to take a guy like that serious, no matter <laughs> no matter who he is or what the record. You got to take a guy that wants to come and ain't ready to fight serious and. And the opportunity I have lies at hands, man. It's very serious because if I lose, there's no, no, all my hard work goes out the, out the window. You know, all the, all the years I've been waiting for this, this moment to fight for a world title, to be a world champion, you know, it goes out the window. So that's why it makes it, this fight so much, that much in, important for me. So I'm going to treat him like, yes, if he's, he, he's already the champion. I got to go look sharp for the fans and to get ready for the next fight. I'm definitely not looking. Looking past Jason, but I'm definitely looking through him because I don't work so hard to get where I'm where I, where I am now, and uh, here I am. So, so y'all guys, I'm glad y'all came out, enjoyed the show. It's a great card. Glad to be a part of this this, this fantastic card, and um, may God bless you guys. Thank you very much. Another another. I mean, this this card is so stacked. Another card uh, uh, that we put, another fight that we put together uh, that should be a, a really exciting, exciting fight. Let me introduce to you Ira Terry. Ira Terry, who will be fighting uh, Jorge Linares, who is a, 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 a champion, ex-champion. Uh, he's, he's, he's on track. Um, uh, he's back. And uh, he has a, a, a difficult fight, uh, a, a tough fight against... Uh, Ira Terry, if, if anybody's seen Ira Terry fight, I mean, he comes to fight. And, uh, you know, this is, this is an arena that is known for a lot of upsets, a lot of great fights, a lot of knockouts, a lot of action. So this is why we're really, really excited for, uh, for, this, for this card on, on Saturday night. So now, that takes us to the uh, televised portion of the event, uh, live on Showtime Championship Boxing. Les, primero les quiero dar las gracias a, a todo, todo el público, gracias por todo el apoyo para lo que hacen por el deporte, por el boxeo, por todos los peleadores. Eh, tenemos una cartelera muy, muy especial. Y at this moment, uh, let me introduce to you 
team, Daniel Estrada. Um, he, uh, he's 29 years old. He'll be making his debut on Showtime Championship Boxing, making his debut here in the United States of America. He's been fighting exclusively in Mexico. He's won his, his, uh, his last nine fights, uh, five by knockout, uh, at five feet, ten inches tall. He, uh, he obviously uh, has been uh, towering over his, his opponents, but um, for some reason he likes fighting um, in a phone booth, as they say in boxing. You know, he loves fighting uh, at short distance, but it, it goes to show you um, his, his punching power and, and, and his abilities in that ring. He believes in his power. He's an exciting fighter. Uh, Estrada has won the WBC Silver Lightweight Championship with a six-round TKO over uh, Isias uh, Sampio. And he has um, defended that title, the WBC uh, uh, Silver Light Walterweight title, uh, in uh, defeating uh, Reyes Sanchez. In a, in a barn burner. So this is a fighter who is coming to fight against a tremendous, tremendous champion. Let me introduce to you De La Ciudad de Mexico, eh, con un record, with a record of 32 and 2 and 24 knockouts, Daniel Tremendo Estrada. placer estar en esta cartelera ya, ya ya este un verdadero gusto de esperar más de un año por esta oportunidad la tengo y no la voy a desaprovechar el sábado want to thank everybody for being here good afternoon uh, i've been waiting for a long time i've been waiting for a year and i'm not going to let it go i will take full advantage of it reconozco al campeón Omar Figueroa como un buen campeón pero yo vengo preparado para todo y para demostrar que quiero ser el nuevo campeón. Soy un guerrero mexicano y el sábado lo voy a demostrar. I recognize Omar as a good champion, but I'm here for whatever he can bring, for whatever. I am a Mexican warrior and I'm going to show it to you on Saturday night when I take the title. Gracias a todos y viva México. Thank you everyone. Viva México. Thank you, thank you very much. And now let me introduce to you a fighter who is 20, 24 years of age. He captured uh, the uh, vacant WBC 135-pound uh, uh, crown uh, beating by unanimous decision uh, Nihito Arakawa in a brutal, brutal slugfest. Um, that fight took place July 7th. Uh, live on Showtime Championship Boxing, and I believe it was one of those fights where every fighter uh, must have thrown uh, 1,500 punches each in a amazing, amazing fight. But this is what this fighter is all about. Um, he is never, never in a dull fight. He comes to fight, and and he's always in great, great shape. He's uh, an offensive-minded type of fighter. He's, uh, you know, he'll, I, I've seen him take two punches to give one. I've seen him take three punches to give, you know, two of his own. You know, that's the type of fighter he is. He comes forward. He fights hard. He's coming off a tremendous um, uh, uh, win uh, versus uh, Jerry Belmontes here at the StubHub Center, which was a terrific, terrific fight. Let me introduce to you with a record of 23-0, 17 knockouts, the Westlaco, Texas, Omar Panterita Figueroa, the champion. Primeramente, hay que agradecer a todos los que hacen esto posible, que son los medios, los fans, Showtime. Golden Boy, Al Heyman y mi equipo. Um, pues esta pelea, todo fue muy diferente. La preparación fue muy diferente. Y creo que, que todo salió eh, lo mejor posible. Um, estamos listos para la pelea. 
estamos ansiosos y um, muchas felicidades a, a este Estrada por, por la oportunidad y por, por salir adelante y llegar a este punto. No es, no es fácil estar aquí, pero es lo que tenemos que hacer, es nuestro trabajo y no nos queda de otra. Así que gracias a todos por estar aquí. First off, I want to thank everyone for, for being here. Of course, everyone that makes this possible, the media, Golden Boy, Al Heyman, and uh, the fans, of course, and my family for helping me out in every, every step of the way. Um, I just want to, you know, say we're ready for the fight. We worked hard. This is probably the hardest I've ever worked for a fight. I really had to discipline myself, and, uh, you know, it's all part of the sacrifice we all make in order to, to give you guys a good show. So, uh, again, congratulations to Estrada for landing the opportunity and for working his ass off to get here. And, uh, you know, we'll see Saturday night who, uh, who the best is. I'm a Mexican warrior as well, and I think I proved that in the past. So, we're going to see on Saturday. <laughs>